today I'm going to show you how to use a software called MIDIOX to check to see if you have MIDI data incoming into your computer. Um, this is nicer to use in your software because your software might already have some routing, some modifications that won't actually show the data. This is also great if you're trying to figure out what channel information is coming in and out on. Uh, it's just an overall great program. It's free and the link will be in the description. I'm going to open up MIDIOX here. Now I have a lot of interfaces connected to this computer. Um, I'm actually going to use it with the PA12 in this scenario and I have a uh, you know, control connected to that as a MIDI controller so we're just going to look at the input today. So it looks a little confusing when you first open it up because you're like where's everything that should be in here. Um, so here's the first thing we want to open. We want to open display rod mate, raw MIDI input. So we're going to click on the little red one there. If you want to see the output you can click the one next to it and open that up. Now these move around inside of this window. You can kind of move those however you want to have it in there. I also have a background in mind, so that's why you see the logo back there. Um, and then I also like to click this little green circle one, which is uh, MIDI port activity. And that just shows which one, which ports you have uh, that you're looking at. And it'll tell you, it'll light up on which channel. Um, so to actually pick which input you're looking at, you want to go to options, then go to MIDI devices. And you're going to select the port in here that you want to take a look at. Uh, I have HST1 right here. So once you select it, it will go down here. And that's what you're going to be looking at. Now, in this, if you select down here, they'll go up there. And basically what these are for, these are for checking the outputs. Um, you can leave nothing in the output if you don't want to actually check the output. Um, you can put a wavetable synth in there, which will actually make it sound like a piano sounds just so you can actually hear um, that MIDI data is coming through. Um, I'm just gonna leave on host one in this scenario and we're gonna click okay. And so now if I turn a knob on it, oh, that might, might not be the right host one. As I said, I have a lot of interfaces connected. I believe it's this one right here. I'm just gonna get rid of the other. But if I was wondering, I have multiple host ones because I have multiple interfaces connected. If I'm wondering, then I could leave them all in and I could just turn it. And you can see host one right here, this one that's in 69 slot. And you can see that this knob is on channel eight. That gives you an idea of where things are. And you can see this other fader that I have is on channel five. Um, my nano control has things kind of mapped all across the board just so I can do different things to so channel one, you know, two, three, four, five. I have all my faders on different ones and then the knobs are all on channel eight. So I'll give you some idea and you can see all the actual mini data come up on this side. It'll show you which port, it'll tell you which channel, six, seven, eight, whatever channel you have and which actual event is happening. So hopefully that helps you out trying to see where the mini data is. This works with uh, any MIDI input at all, and not necessarily an iConnectivity interface, but uh, any any MIDI input at all. So hopefully that helps you out.